Luero Primary School is a public primary school located within Kakara Shopping Center in Doho West, sublocation of Kenya Sub County, Siaya County, within the Republic of Kenya in the East Coast of Africa. The school started in the year 1982 under the leadership of a retired veteran teacher from the area, the late Mze Simeon Rapudo. The school did its national examination for the first time in the year 1989. This school has produced men and women who are currently contributing to the economy in different parts of the world. My name is Pius Odiambo. I'm a former student of Luero Primary School. I was a salutarian in the KCP exams of 1990 at the school. Currently, I work as a data engineer in Washington, D.C. in the United States. And I support the initiative by Kiswahili Tekelezi to start a valedictorian scholarship at the school. My name is Jacinta Kinyeuma, based in Siaya, Kenya, in the east coast of Africa. I was the head girl at Luero Primary School in 92. I'm also an old student of Sega Girls High School in Sega, Kenya. I'm currently a businesswoman in Siaya town and I support the initiative of Swahili Tekelezi to start a leadership scholarship for girls at Luero Primary School at Sega Girls High School. All head girls from 1989 to date, wherever you are, please let us support this. My name is Mr. Charles Duar Opio, based in the Lakeside city of Kisumu, Kenya, in the east coast of Africa. I am currently the chairman of Nuero School Alumni Association. In short, Lawasa. I was the valedictorian at the school in the KCP of 19. And was invited to join St. Mary's School Yala on merit. But due to the lack of school fees, I joined St. Mary's High School, High School as a day scholar. I walked several kilometers going to school on Anu and Wadi Madi Roads. As the chairman of Wesa, I support the proposal by Kiswahili Tekeles to establish a school. A scholarship for top students at Luero Primary School to enable such students not undergo the same kind of exper experience I went through. I'm appealing to all the valedictorians from 1989 to today and let's join hands and support this program. A couple of months ago, the school appeared in the news negatively. It is for this reason that the former students of the school have come together to form an alumni association to address the needs of the school. Shule yetu haina kiwanja. Hatuna maji. Hii shule imefinyika ni kidogo hata watoto vile watakaa social distance ndani ni ngumu. Barabara hatuna barabara ya kuingia kwa hii shule. Hatuna barabara ya kuingia kwa hii center. Hii shule na barabara na hospitali Na hii soko yetu imeshindwa kuendelea kwa sababu barabara hatuna. Ningeomba serikali mahali pamoja tu kwa tuangalilie mambo ya uwanja sababu hii shule ni ya umma. Hii shule ya umma hatuna uwanja. Chenye serikali inaweza kusaidia ni mambo ya mambo ya uwanja jamani. Tunaomba tuna waziri wa elimu ambaye inatoka huku sehemu ya Siaya atushughulikie hiyo maneno. My name is Kale Botaru Sirigwa. Um, the head teacher Zero Primary School. Luero is a school in Ugunja, Ugenya sub-county, Kukwala Division, uh, that is uh, Kukwala location, Doha West uh, sub-location. It is in Gaula Zone. The school has a population of 301 pupils. 90 TAC teachers. It has two subordinate staffs, that is one security officer and one cook. It is my sincere appeal that in order to improve the performance of the school, all the stakeholders have come up and joined hands. Last year's performance was wanting. The school had a mean score of 199. Compared to previous years, it was the worst performed year. Therefore, this year, we are making up efforts 
so that we can improve our performance and our target is uh, 250. Currently, we have 28 candidates who are sitting for this year's exam and uh, having looked at their performance in the previous exams, the kids uh, really have hope. It's now my appeal both to the stakeholders, the Swahili Tekelezi, all the Bresso alumni that we support the school programs uh, so that we can improve performance. We are happy the lunch program has been spearheaded by the Swahili Tekelezi, but it's not enough because this was just a beginning that will run for like one or two months. But we are now appealing that we can uh, facilitate the whole program uh, for the whole year. One of the indicators of performance that we are really appealing is the school has got no water, children have to walk out, and that one is time wastage. So we are appealing to the sponsors so that water can be drilled into the school. Number two, we are appealing for electrification of all the classes so that children can take their studies at school. Thirdly, we are also appealing uh, that uh, we can talk to the necessary authorities so that more teachers are brought to the school because the nine teachers cannot handle the workload that is ahead of them. Uh, we are also thankful that uh, our sponsor, especially Pius, is really working up to see that the school goes back to its roadmap that was there uh, previously. Having said that, we pray that God blesses the pockets of those ones who will be touched in the whole story of the school so that they can contribute more to the betterment of the school. of Kiswahili Tekeleze. Inja. One can go Kiswahili Tekeleze, eh? Kapi usneneka. Ano chumo kredi makila saboro. Kiswahili no hilo hii. Kiswahili no reme. So the ukwala Kiswahili be no reme. Lakini mathematics ya dan A. You was the best. I can be said I was a living mathematics. Maths. And even at Rukwala, I learned maths and sciences. So I went to pursue a degree in physics and maths. But Kiswahili was never there. We are going to work with the teachers and work with adopted schools to make sure that Kiswahili is calm. Because in most of our schools, Kiswahili has been the bogey, it has been the water, and it has never been done very well. So that is the work of Kiswahili at Ekelezi. And uh, as time goes on, particularly after pandemic, we are going to organize more meetings with Israeli teachers, where the experts will now be involved, and then they map out uh, modes of parenting. They see how they want things done. My name is Daniel Juma Omondi. I'm the executive director of the Global Peace 
Foundation, and I also support uh, the efforts that are being made by Kiswahili Tekelezi, which is a group of volunteers who love Kiswahili language in helping to promote the learning and the understanding of Swahili in our society. Especially, I would like to congratulate the vision bearer, Mr. Pius Udiambo in Washington, D.C., and the team of Kiswahili Tekelezi for the good work that they are doing. I also want to congratulate them, you know, for adopting schools, schools in the rural areas of our society, you know, helping to promote uh, learning. And also in a school like uh, Luero Primary School, you know, we have a group that have uh, 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 sponsored, you know, a free lunch, you know, for the students who are learning in difficulties in those areas. These are the kind of things that um, our brothers and sisters, especially in the diaspora, and those who finished learning in those schools, uh, the so-called alumni, should be doing uh, in order to give back to the society. The purpose of this is to provide a platform for them to be able to realize their full potential. However, in the course of our initiative, we are realizing that many of the children have very little capacity to proceed to other levels of education, especially those who are moving from class 8 to form 1 are not able to transition at 100%. Uh, and those who are also moving from, from one class to another in high school are also having a similar challenge because of school fees. As a result of this, we are rolling out an initiative to just develop a bursary fund for these children to be able to ensure that we have 100% transition from primary to secondary school. And because of this, we are calling upon various stakeholders to support this initiative and see it uh, come to fruition by just supporting a child uh, with whichever amount of money in order for them to proceed. My name is Dennis Otiemo, Loma. I'm a former student of Loris Primary School. I did my KCPE in 1989 in this school. I'm the best performing student in this school, whereby in mathematics I score 90%, science and agriculture I scored 96, whereby I was the best student in the whole nation. I got a very good mass, but due to the situation of my parents, I could not proceed with my school due to school fees. I did not have the school fees by that time. My parents was very, very poor. They cannot manage to pay school fees. My name is Teresa Diamonyeni. I'm the BOM chairperson of Meru Primary School. The two things and the community around is a very vulnerable community that most of our people are not. come from a very humble families. They cannot manage even to buy their own uniforms. They are supported. Some cannot even go for their lunch at home. And therefore, I want to say that I thank Pius very much, the Kiswahili Tekelezi and the alumni group, the Luasa, for coming up with a lunch program that is now supporting them to have lunch at school. Being sampled in the education sector, you know, when the results come out, all we ask is where is our means, what is the means of our alma mater. And uh, I think I thank this particular opportunity to say lazy. Because it's only when, you see, for example, if I was just to pop in, I don't think I would have that opportunity to really get the nitty gritty. Maybe the times I would come, even in the formal dispensation, you get into the office, a small child and leave. But I think this has really been an eye opener. So, this is for you and your students. And you can replace the key theme here to LED. So, Dante is saying, ever since I have been grown up, I have never desired to smoke. And I've always regarded the habit of smoking as barbarous, dirty, and harmful. I have never understood why there is such a rage of smoking throughout the world. I cannot bear to travel in a compartment full of people smoking. I become choked. But that's not very serious. I won't jump 
in the next paragraph. So a time comes when you must to change. And the very this time came and he writes like this. I decided at last to write out the confession. When you must hope here many things which you deny, you deny, you deny circles. But one thing, character is like pregnancy. So a time comes you must confess, even you, if you're doing something wrong in the school, to confess. So what did you do? I wrote it on a slip of paper and added it myself to himself. Myself to him what? Himself. In this note, not only did I confess my guilt, but I asked adequate punishment for it. This much my guy, they are people who know him, you know him, and I'm reading this book here right now. I asked for adequate punishment for that sin. Now my nigga stealing and atonement. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pius Odiambo and I am the founder and vision bearer of Kiswahili Tekelezi. I was born, raised, and received my early education in Western Kenya, in the East Coast of Africa. I've changed my profession four times. I started working as a granary stroke papyrus craftsman, a trade I inherited from my late grandfather. Later, after receiving my high school education, I got a job in the hotel industry in Nairobi, courtesy of my cousin Morris, who adopted me and trained me as a cook. I had to abandon this trade halfway when I was admitted to Kenyatta University to train as a physics teacher. A couple of years ago, I left teaching and started working as a data engineer. Very soon, I will be retiring peacefully to start working as a social entrepreneur. Social entrepreneurship is an approach by individuals, groups, startup companies, or entrepreneurs in which they develop, fund, and implement solutions to social, cultural, or environmental issues. This is Kiswahili Tilla. Kiswahili Tilla is an acronym that stands for Kiswahili Tekelezi International Leadership Academy. Kiswahili Tilla intends to reach out to children and the youth in a number of countries worldwide, namely Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, DR Congo, Burundi, Rwanda, Ghana, South Africa, USA, and Canada, among others. Kiswahili Tila's main objective is character transformation among children and the youth. Kiswahili Tila intends to offer mentorship in five main, er five main areas, namely technology, Kiswahili language, leadership, health, and sports. On Sunday, August 30th, 2020, from 4 p.m., 5 p.m., Washington, D.C., local time, Kiswahili Tekelezi USA chapter will meet to prepare for the second conference on globalization of Kiswahili to be held on Sunday, October 4th, 2020. Professor Leonard Muwaka from Howard University in Washington, D.C., USA, and Professor Monda from City University of New York in New York, USA have confirmed their attendance. Professor Leonard Muwaka is a professor of Kiswahili and the chair of World Languages and Cultures and coordinates the program in African Cultures, as well as Professor David Mwanda, a professor of political science and a regular contributor to the Voice of America Swahili service. The association LUESA was registered on 13th of October 2020 in Nairobi, Kenya and is in the process of signing a Memorandum of Understanding MOU with the School Management and Kiswahili Take a Lazy. The stakeholders of the school are appealing to people of goodwill to support this tiny school built in less than half an acre of land. The school website, which is www.weroschool.co.ke, is under construction and will be ready soon. The lunch program was initiated by the founder of Kiswahili Tekelezi, Mr. Pius Udiambo. For more information about activities of Kiswahili Tekelezi, please reach us to Mr. John Yuya, the CEO of Kiswahili Tekelezi, on cell phone plus 2547-22-762-182.
o email kiswahili tekelezi at gmail.com